Alrighty, so the third anniversary is out officially on JP and KR, and I just wanted to make a video talking about, you know, getting all of your resources and stuff like that together uh, if you play on the global server, so that way you're ready in two weeks when it comes out uh, for us global players. So, um, there's quite a lot that you need to do, sort of, kind of. Um, obviously, there's a lot of changes to this update. There's a brand new character that's coming out. She's a brand new typing, uh, which actually isn't the biggest hurdle. Um, there is also a new deathmatch that they're adding because they're adding level 100 so not only are you going to have to upgrade your characters from 90 to 95 to 100 uh, you got to have some extra materials and stuff like that to go along with it so let's start off with Liz um, the couple of things that I have sort of, you know, looked at is, you know, maybe you want to start building up some gear for her uh, luckily <laughs> I think, you know it's a really nice thing that a lot of her cards actually deal with HP based modifiers and stuff like that because even though her main two attack cards do uh, scale off of her attack um, the AOE actually uses a little bit of her max HP for additional damage and then her ult actually doesn't deal with attack at all it's just off of her max HP so you definitely want to run um, some sort of HP defense or even HP crit damage set for her. Um, this is just my Goddess Liz set. I think um, as far as it goes, prepping the gear, if you already have an Elizabeth set that's HP defense because all of her units so far have been very supporty and pretty much you just wanna run HP defense on them. Uh, the biggest tip that I would give you is to maybe go through and try to work on some of your rolls. Maybe try to you know use any of the hammers that you have or try to farm for hammers or farm for gold so that way you can use gear gotcha to get hammers, etc. So that way you can sort of invest in uh, some of these lower rolls or whatever um, trying to max those out as much as possible you know if you, if you want to get the most out of the character of course you can uh, put on <laughs> HP crit damage uh, in that case you may need to go ahead and build a new set for her or at least at the very minimum you'll need to build two um, crit damage pieces I am an absolute moron and I've I've started to do all of my uh, it, it's been a really long time since I built this set in general but normally nowadays I build um, you know the the four piece set on the top and bottom and then I'll build the two piece set which is defense or crit damage uh, on the middle two slots <laughs> and I accidentally made uh, the crit damage pieces for the middle two slots when this is a really old set that I ended up putting uh, the defense pieces on top right and bottom right so I really screwed up there I think I'm gonna end up building an entirely new set for her in general just because I do use the other lizards and stuff like that for associations every once in a while uh, so I'll just have two sets that's fine I've got three sets from Meliota so it's really nothing new uh, but yeah if you want to start building sets for her and everything like that go ahead and start doing that um, like I said putting hammers and stuff like that into your uh, sets as well will be a really nice thing to start doing um other than that, uh, the other big thing that you want to worry about with Liz in general is uh, I have <laughs> pulled up some of the other YouTubers, like the JP YouTubers uh, videos for reference here. Um, one thing that I was going to really recommend you do is farm for a lot of books and you don't necessarily have to farm for a ton of books for Liz specifically, but because they're we're getting level 100, um, it's going to cost two additional books for any of the characters that aren't light and dark uh, to get them from 90 to 100. And because it is actually right here, you can see uh, thanks to Speedy, shout out, shout out him. Uh, so I can, because I'm using his video uh, for reference here, but the the light and dark books for uh, Trader Melly and the new Liz are actually a three to one um, trans for rate because you actually don't get these books other any other way than um, trading them with King so make sure that you're you know stocking up on some of your six star books and stuff like that I think if you technically you know power her up from SR level you know 50 to S SSR or SSR level 50 to you are 60 I think you'll need um, a level 5 book or something I can't remember exactly how that's gonna work out I think maybe you need lower books but even then uh, there's actually a brand new item that they have added in this update 
right here you can see you get one of them from the special missions luckily these special missions actually all of these can be done the first day that it's out so you can actually just farm out this really quickly if you're already summoning on the banner this one's already done uh, normally this the Fort Solgris special dungeon is like a three times one for the uh, the the mission for it but luckily it's only a one-time thing so you can literally do it the first day uh, and then the rest of these are just event related uh, so you can get those done very quickly and then you can use this item, which is actually a level 1 to 90 um, upgrade token. I'm really hoping that they do something similar to the Merlin, where you can just exchange the materials if you already have them um, to make these, because it would be really nice for future units, of course. But, um, yeah, you'll get one of these from the update, at least. I'm not sure. It, in this video, when he's powering up his Liz, he already has it. I'm not sure if they give you one maybe in the mail or something, or if he's already done the missions. I'm not completely positive on that but you can see you know he gets served from level 1 to 90 instantly so he doesn't have to deal with any of the light books and stuff like that I would probably recommend going that route so you don't have to waste six star books transferring them and everything like that but he actually makes a good point in this um, where he goes ahead and makes two extra six star light books so that way he can get her from 90 to 100 because you'll need one book for 95 and one book for 100 uh, and he goes ahead and makes the um, pendants as well if you don't know there is a new raid uh, where you'll fight the original demon and for this to get your characters to level 100 you're going to need UR pendants which is a 6 to 1 transfer ratio from SSR to UR pendants um, and for that luckily someone has already made a graphic uh, I'm pretty sure Speedy was the one that tweeted this out and you've probably seen it on Reddit if you're on the Reddit uh, but yeah it is 6 SSR pendants transfers into 1 UR pendant and they are actually making it to where um, King is going to have a permanent transfer where you can actually upgrade or just like transfer your uh, like rare pendants into SR pendants, SSR or SR pendants into SSR pendants. And then now you'll be able to, of course, trade the SSR for the UR pendant now. So if you have a lot of these, you know, smaller pendants like I do, you should be able to just, you know, consolidate them all up and maybe get a couple of extras. Um, and then, yeah, you'll need to make sure that you have a decent amount because these are not cheap. A lot of people are very upset about that, and I can completely understand why the game is <laughs> far too stingy with their SSR pendants. But make sure that you know you know you're stocking up on those. Do as many of the Fort Solgris dungeon you know runs as you can if you need to. Uh, one thing that I always try to do is trade friendship coins for those um, Fort Solgris you know keys, the dungeon keys that give you like three of the special dungeon runs because uh, that'll just give you that much more of a chance to pull SSR pendants. Um, other than that, uh, there is... I think there was a couple of other things I wanted to talk about. One thing is this artifact card set that's coming out. Of course, um, the new Liz is, of course, a goddess. And uh, this new uh, artifact card set is increases goddess race allies damage deal in PvP by up to 10%. So if you want to, start making sure that you're, you know, getting card packs out of any of the shops that you need, maybe. Uh, so that way you can go ahead and grab as many, you know, card dupes or card... What are they called? Card... <laughs> templates or something like that. I can't remember exactly what they're called, uh, but just the, the, the extra cards that you get uh, so that way you can power up this set if you're wanting to use that. You'll get all of the cards that you need from it uh, or for it from uh, the various events that are going on during the third anniversary, so that's really good. Um, other than that, you want to start doing Belmoth raids as much as possible because level 90 to 95 and 95 to 100 costs 75 Belmoth cores, which is super annoying because I would have to say Belmoth, Belmoth is the most annoying uh, demon that we have in the game at the moment. I've even watched a little bit of content today because... Um, because the anniversary started today as of the time of me recording this. I've watched a couple of people do different runs and stuff like that of the new demon, and I, th I still think Belmoth is going to be the most annoying one to farm. Uh, so make sure that you're doing those as much as possible because it, it's going to cost you 145 uh, Belmoth cores to get a character all the way from, you know, 0 to 100. But of course, if you already have characters and you're just powering up the ones you already have level 90, it's going to cost you an extra 75. So <laughs> make sure that you're farming that as much as possible. I know that's a pain, um, but, you know, the game is kind of grindy already. And, you know, once we plateau out, it, it, it makes sense that they're just going to add something else to 
the grind eventually. So um, I can't remember if there was anything else in the patch notes other than Hijack Gother. Um, there is a login event, so you'll get a bunch of you know free gems and stuff like that, which is really good. Uh, I think this is 300 gems over the course of the entire month um, that the event or the anniversary is going to be going on. Make sure that you're not spending all of your gems because after the first two weeks of the character being out, you will be able to buy these costumes with gems. So if you're a free-to-play player and you're not spending money on the game, uh, be aware that you will need to save uh, a couple of your gems so that way you can actually buy the outfits for her afterwards or else you're just going to have a really basic Liz and it's probably not going to do you as much good. Um, and yeah, I think that is pretty much it as far as Liz goes and trying to power up your heroes. The only other thing that I wanted to talk about was was uh, Hijack Gother, and the big thing there is that he does use the bird material. So if you don't know, the Hijack Gother uh, is getting a holy relic, and it is with, uh, when the hero's ultimate move gauge is maxed, increases all allies' attack-related stats by 25% for two turns, which sounds really good, and I'm not sure if this is going to be something that you can just repeat over and over again, so you could get potentially... Like, what is that, 50% stats if you can apply it twice? I'm not positive if you can do that or not. I don't really think I've seen any testing for it yet. But um, if you're interested in this relic at all, um, I do have Nagato's video right here and just, you know, a frame where he shows that it is basically just all of the regular unknown materials. So you'll need 15 wind sources, uh, 30 of the little blue crystals from the bird, uh, the purple uh, cubes, 80 of those, and then the yellow triangle pieces i can't ever remember what these are called but yeah pretty easy pretty simple <laughs> you know as far as relics go i mean you don't have to do any sort of deer or anything like that so you can farm that out pretty easily if not you can just you know do the bird to help you sort of max out your <laughs> materials and everything like that but uh yeah it's looking like a pretty big update looking like a lot of stuff that you're going to need to sort of work on uh building up to it so as you know global players have a little bit of a, a head start where we can start working on these things and getting them ready for the update as it comes out. So that is pretty much it for me. Hopefully this was helpful, informative, everything you needed it to be. I will be making a guide and everything like that on like maybe teams to use and stuff like that for the new original Demon Raid and stuff as it gets closer to Global. Uh, if it if not, it'll probably be the day of it coming out that I make the guide for it. But uh, I'm, I don't want to make one just yet because it's still really early and uh, there's not really a whole lot of different teams that people are using for it yet. So I just kind of want to wait and see if there's like a, a really accessible accessible team you know said so that way everybody can try to do it but it seems like it's a lot easier than Belmoth which is good but uh, yeah that's it from me thanks so much for watching feel free to subscribe if you haven't already um, and yeah I will see you guys in the next video